Okay, so one more piece of software, and then I think what I'm probably gonna do is I'm probably gonna go use this computer myself for a couple of small projects. Um, maybe while I'm working on some new core stuff, or maybe I'm working on the new backend. Um, just to make sure everything's installed, that I don't have anything missing. If anything is missing, my plan is to come back and to add more videos. So if you start seeing more videos, it's not because I lost my mind and kept saying this is the last one. Um, it's because I realized I was missing something and I wanted to add it so that people could see what I installed. But up until now, I've tried to install everything without, you know, while recording the entire process so you could sort of see where we were. So let's see how to get this software working. Um, basically what this does is it tries to help you. Um, so let's... Um, Grab this. So we're gonna use brew to install this. And then I am going to show you an example. And while this installs, um, I feel like I should go over some of the other stuff I have in my settings and all that stuff, but I don't know if it makes sense to go over all that or not. Um, do I have key bindings anywhere? I want something like code, preferences, key maps, code, preferences, keyboard shortcuts. There we go. All right. So, Keyboard shortcuts, um, you're gonna see that some of these I had to change, like cursor home select, cursor in select. Um, what those are is so I can do control shift A and select at the start of a line, stuff like that. Uh, Cause it, it drives me insane when I can't do control A and control E, cause almost all software, control A and E will be start and end of the line. Um, are we done? All right. So, we need to do code, ZSHRC. And then we're going to put this down here, like here. I'm going to actually get rid of all this stuff, because I don't think I need any of it. Why is it getting an unmatched... So confused as to where this is coming from. Did I like delete something? <laughs> um, I don't know what it's complaining about. I don't know. We should be fine. All right, so um, that's not what I wanted. So basically the way this works is um, you can type fuck anytime you think you screwed something up and it'll give you some options. So here I typed crew install the fuck and you can see that it didn't work. Um, so it's gonna give me options like brew install. That's what I probably wanted. So I could do that and hit enter and it'll run that command. So, uh, I'm not going to reinstall that right now. Where is... Um, where's a good example of this? Like, this Python one is alright. Um, so, you can see that you can just do that, and do this. That's kind of nice. Um, you can also just hit up and figure out whatever you wanted. You know, there's different stuff like that. This is just kind of a nicety where if you screw up, you can do that. Um, you could even alias this with something else if you wanted. Uh, you know, if you wanted to try to change it, I'm guessing you could. So you might be able to do something like... So, you know, you have options. Uh, you don't have to keep it as a swear word if you don't want to. It's just, it's a little bit comical for some people, I guess, to 
to basically express that frustration with typos. So that's it for this one. Um, you know, that's it can be useful just to fix mistakes. Um, as I said, I'm not going to do the rest of these in the video. I don't really see any real benefit to doing them. Um, instead, I'm just going to try to build some stuff and we'll see where we end up.